Hello all you beautiful people in the cosplay universe. Welcome down to the cosplay laboratory where we're going to talk about sharpening your razors. This is one of the most valuable tools and most often used tools when you're building your own cosplay armor and other types of foam fabrication. And to keep one of these sharp is an integral part of what you're doing. So I've tested many different kinds over the time that I've been creating cosplay armor and I want to share with you today in this quick tip video just what I've I prefer and what I think will work best for you. Just always remember to be careful. Ah. Unless you're fourth grader, you probably didn't fall for that. Anyway, let's go ahead and get started. One question that's asked quite often in the cosplay world is what is the best way to keep your razor blades sharp? I have three razors here. I've gone through and dulled them up pretty well. I've rubbed them on the side of my stainless table, really taken that edge off. I've also rubbed them together. I've done, cut through 150 pieces of foam real quick. Whatever I could do to really dull these up. Now as you can see, I can still cut, but it doesn't cut all the way through. And it's not a good clean cut either. That one doesn't want to cut through at all. I mean that's dull. And you get duller than that. Let's try this one. This one's not as dull. It did cut. This is probably as dull as the other one. No, probably. And dullness, most dull to least dull. Now, there's many ways you could you can sharpen a knife. I've seen people go anywhere from a whetstone, which I've used myself, to using some sandpaper. And when I say sandpaper, I don't mean like 220 grit or any 600 grit. I'm talking about um, wet and dry grade 1200 grit sandpaper. Very, very smooth. And my favorite is the Kershaw knife sharpener. This is great. It's diamond plated, so they tell me. Could be a sales thing. But we're going to show you that you can use all of these processes. This whetstone has a more coarse side and a little more fine side. And the purpose of a whetstone, just like they did in the medieval days. They just go back and forth over a coarse rock with a little bit of lubrication and sharpen. I'm going to smear that WD-40 around because that's going to be my lubrication. There's probably 50 people out there right now saying, that's not the right way. You're supposed to go this way only. That's fine. Say what you need. I've done it this way many times. It's worked just fine. What you want to try to do is get a good, nice, good 20 degree angle on it. And then, within no time, should be back to cutting like a brand new razor blade. Let's go ahead and just resharpen that one last time. The worst thing about this as you hold it, you tend to put your thumb up, and if you're not careful, you'll slice right into your thumb or the padded part of your hand. So you have to make sure your hand stays below a sharpening stone. And you can pick these up at Harbor Freight for just a couple bucks or on Amazon.com. And of course, most of the things we talk about, there will be links down in the description so you can find it yourself. This one's going to sharp. I'm going to put it right back in my sharp pile. Next, we're going to look at sandpaper. I have just water, but I don't have water. Actually, I do, but <laughs> too late. So we're just going to take this and kind of use it like a sanding stone. A good 20 degree angle on it. Using the side of the table to keep it nice and flat. Again, watching your fingers. It may not have started sharp, but it will be sharp in no time. And I gotta take a phone call. Well, the magic of editing, you did not have to see me make a phone call or answer the phone. And now we're back. Just uh, what I was saying, just rub it across a few times. This again is 1200 grit sandpaper. And I prefer this kind because it's wet and dry. It doesn't really hurt it if it gets something wet on it. And then we're right back to cutting foam. 
with a nice sharp razor again. And last but not least, least is my favorite, which is the Kershaw. This says it's only 600 grit, but it feels it feels quite uh, less gritty than that. But they say it's 600. I believe them. Again, this is just a little tiny bit of WD-40 as a lubricant. And this is the dullest blade of them all. I saved them for the Kershaw because it does a really good job. Now you can go through and worry about exact, got to do it this way, that way. You don't have to worry about all that. You want the job done, hold it flat, lift it up a little bit. Get about a 20 degree angle. Just go across it a few times. Flip it over, do the same thing. Again, you tend to hold this with your finger like this if you have one of these. Be, be, be aware, if you're doing the bottom, you can easily get your finger. So if you want to be more safe, hold it like this. And since I know this is the dullest, I'm going to go over it a few times. Usually, if you start cutting foam and it starts to grab, you just pick it up. And that's all you really need. And it's sharpened again. But I went through and <laughs> I did a lot of stuff to doll this up. So I have to put a whole new edge on it. But it still only takes, you know, 30 seconds or so. And then let's see what we've got. Right back to cutting foam really well. And that's again why I like the Kershaw. And of course, links to this, and I think this was 16 bucks on Amazon, and this, which you can pick up for a couple bucks at Harbor Freight. You can pick them up on Amazon too. I'll link to them both below and the details. Um, but since there'll be shipping involved, unless you have Prime, this probably be a little bit more expensive on Amazon. But you can't beat these Kershaw sharpeners, and they're easy to carry with you because they go together just like that. Easy to store. I just leave it open and leave it in my drawer. And always have it handy. So that's it. That's how you keep your razors perfectly sharp to make really good cuts. Quick tip. Have a good one. Stay crafty. Hey, wait, wait, wait. Before you go, you should think about stopping over and seeing me at cccosplay.com. There you can find articles and tips to help you take your cosplay to the next level. Also, if you sign up for the membership email list, I'll send you a few surprises and let you know about special things before anyone else has a chance to hear about them. It'll be our little secret. And remember, stay crafty.